G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here from JML Anglers Alliance. I've got a bit of footage here I've had for a couple of years now. It's uh, chasing a few brim with some Eco Gear Aqua BP50s. I did all this filming with the GoPro underwater housing on, so there's no sound to go with this. I'm going to lay a bit of commentary over the top. What you just saw there is that brim was drawn to that bait visually. As you can see, once it's sat over that bait, its chemoreceptors picked up on the amino acids leached into the water column around the bait. It's the natural compound of these amino acids that stimulate these fish to bite. These amino acids trigger a natural feeding response and actually get these fish to eat the bait. As you can see, that brim sat over that bait, got a taste for it and just slurped it up. A quick release and we just get stuck into this session. So like I said, this is a film with that underwater housing on, so the sound is pretty cooked. Um, this is a couple of years back, so I didn't exactly have my super awesome film and style that I got these days. Uh, I just had this camera wedged in the rocks, as you can see it just moved there. But uh, yeah, Dickers has got the first fish here we've caught. As you can see, I'm going to the uh, Eco Gear Aqua Stocker, getting a few extra baits out. We're running a heap of colours this day. Uh, these fish were just switched on. We can see we're on a rock wall. We've got an incoming tide. There's water pushing in and along and through these rocks. There you can see I'm on again there. It's just one of those sessions. It just, it, as it unfolded, it, it just become one of those days where everything that you did just worked. Like these fish just ate the bait. Like look at that. That's a solid fish. Scoffing the bait. Just eating it. But uh, yeah, well, I'll delve into a bit, bit of the gear that we're using here and uh, there's a fair bit of footage to come. So back then, uh, I'm still throwing you know, what's general brim gear. Uh, I do like a longer rod for this lightweight sort of stuff. I like a 7.2, 7.4, 7.6. Um, what I use these days is a JML uh, Sensation sensitive tip. Uh, it's just a really soft tip. Uh, it just allows those fish to pick up these bio baits and not feel any resistance. But uh, yeah, back here, just throwing general all-round sort of style rod, seven foot six, I think I was throwing, and four pound braid, four pound leader, like super light stuff. Super clear water, really light. I'm fishing a 120th and a 140th at times. Uh, just allowing that bait to splash down, sink really natural, super light weighted, and just allow those fish to see that bait naturally sinking before they, uh, they get over and commit to it. So this is one of multiple double hookups for the session. Uh, Dickazzy's got a flathead. For some reason, he's got me to grab it. As I'm grabbing it, bam, estuary cot scoffs my brim hole. Two of us busted off. Both need to re-rig. Quick retie using some Yamatoyo Harris Fighter four-pound fluorocarbon leader. Uh, another 120th jig head. And as you can see, the technique here is get it close to the rocks. You can see that water coming through those rocks. The fish are stacked up on this wall waiting for food to come to them. So it's a matter of splashing that bait down, lightly weighted, present it really natural, and just let those fish come to the bait. You can see there it splashed down. I give it a second. Shake the rod tip. Those fish have seen it. They've already come across to it. Those amino acids are leaching into the water column. Those fish are seeing the bait, reacting to the amino acids, and they're, they're scoffing it. Look at this. Double hookup. Yeah, eco gear. <laughs> Awesome fish, check that out. That's some corkers. We had double hookups like this for most of the session. Yeah, you can see how stoked we are. Yeah, see, go gear, Dickers loves it. Awesome stuff. Yes, yeah, another awesome double hookup. Look, when it comes to choosing colours, um, you know, these bio baits, these, these Eco Gear Aquas, they come in a, a range of colours. The majority of them are natural colours. Uh, the only one that stands out that I think is a bit unnatural is uh, the mustard seed colour. You know, it's like a bright yellow with a bit of black fleck. Uh, you can see it in a couple of these shots here. It catches fish still. It's probably you know the most unnatural colour I'd expect to throw out of all these baits. As you see there, that, I think that one's Aussie prawn. Um, I love my naturals, my watermelons, my green pumpkins. Yeah, that colour. There's the Aussie prawn, there's salt and pepper. Uh, you know, there's a heap of colour in these baits. You know, the majority of the time, you're fishing clear water for brim. Uh, if you're going to fish some dirty water, I'd, I'd probably be throwing some of those darker baits, uh, your mud prawns and your watermelons. Yeah, so colour's not that important with these baits. You know, The key to these baits is those amino acids. Yes, certain colours suit certain areas. Here you go. Take your pick. Have whatever colour you want, dickers. So there's a couple of fish on a few different colours. Here's one on that Aussie prawn. Here we go. There's another fish coming up. 
Here's that mustard seed color. As you can see, pretty yellow, bit of black fleck in there. And this guy, if he opens his gob, what's he got? He's got a mud prawn down there. So there's a few different colors. Here we are trying to get a little bit artistic with our filming. As you can see, that's not out there underwater housing on. We're doing a bit in the water, out of the water stuff. And yeah, and here we are. This leads us to the end of the session. This is uh, this is the fish of the session. This is an absolute horse. Check this thing out. I think you can kind of make out. I sort of say something to the camera here about it being about a 38 forker. Well over 40 centimetres in total, but awesome fish on the watermelon. Look at that. What a fish to end the session. Eco Gear Aqua, BP50s. They just catch. Awesome sight that. So uh, here we go. We've got a bit of uh, a couple of logos. Eco Gear Aqua. There's a few of your, your baits. Yamatoyo lines and leaders. And brought to you by the Evil Koala at JML Anglers Alliance.